rectify the following error. Goods returned from Chand rupees 12,000 were recorded in purchase return book. So, goods returned from Chand. This word from is very important. From this from I can make make out that someday I must have sold goods to Chand. So, he is returning it to me back now. So, it has to be sales return not purchase return and it is recorded in purchase return. So, let us learn more by passing the entries. Right, wrong, reverse, rectified. Okay. Goods returned from chance. Sales return has a debit balance. Sales return account debit by 12,000 to Chand. This should have been ideally the entry. But what have I done? I have recorded them in purchase return. So, what have I done? Chand account debit. Purchase has a debit balance. So, purchase return will have a credit balance to purchase return this is the mistake committed so i will have to reverse it just reverse the entry purchase return account debit to chand and now compare the two sales return do i have anything to cancel here so write here sales return account debit in the rectified portion sales return account debit 12000 okay i don't have anything to cancel for the debit now i'll check here purchase return debit anything to cancel here no nothing to cancel here also so what will i do now I will write here purchase return account debit 12,000 okay now chand I have a chand here and a chand here two two chands so what will I do to chand This 12,000 plus this 12,000 needs to be summed up. So, 12 plus 12 is 24. So, 2 chand 24,000. This is how this rectification entry will be passed. Always uh, the words, small words like this from is very important. From this from word, I got to know that this is not purchase return. Any person will return me only when I have made sales to him so how can it be purchase return it has to be sales return these small things while reading the questions are very important and though they don't allow you to go wrong now the 22nd entry give journal entry to rectify following using suspense account open your eyes suspense account so one side has to be suspense account a sum of rupees 800 written off as depreciation de depreciation my indirect expense and always remember an increase in assert or an increase in expense is always debited so the depreciation when occurred should have been debited now were not posted to depreciation account now this is purely an entry of error of omission not at all posted so when it is not at all posted our works become even easier just post it now so what you will you write here depreciation needs to be debited depreciation account debited here i don't need to do the right wrong reverse and rectify it because it is totally omitted so whatever is right do it now so depreciation account debit it was omitted so here i need to present suspense account because it has to be rectified using a suspense account so do suspense account 
if you understand it this is very simple if you don't then there is a problem you will not know when to put suspense when not to use suspense account so just uh, a recap suspense account is used when you close your trial balance your trial balance doesn't match so uh, you start preparing your final accounts so that they don't delay and as you get to know what were the errors the amount which you have already placed in suspense account you keep reverting them so this was all about the 22nd question let's move to the 23rd